לפעמים אחרי שעשית, ועשית מבצע סופר נקי, אף אחד לא נפגע חוץ מהמחבלים עצמם. אתה פתאום אומר, אוקיי, אני קיבלתי החלטה ונהרגו איקס אנשים שהיו בוודאות בדרך לעשות עכשיו פיגוע קשה. ועדיין אתה אומר, יש פה משהו לא טבעי במצב הזה. והמשהו הלא טבעי הזה זה בעצם הכוח שיש לך לקחת משלושה אנשים, מחבלים, כן? אבל לקחת ככה את החיים שלהם בשנייה. How significant is it to have six living leaders of Shin Bet, this secretive intelligence organization, all speaking to you at once? It's quite interesting. It's quite subversive, I would say. Subversive? Yeah. Why? Because they never spoke before so intensely and so candidly about their job. So it was the first time, it is the first time that all six, all living heads of Shin Bet, by the way, come fro- forward and speak so openly. It was clear that we were going to be able to do it. סבב אלימות של קבוצה, של חברה, של עם, שבעצם בראייתו אין לו מה להפסיד. They feel that the window of opportunity is closing fast for peace with the Palestinians, which in my point of view and in their point of view is the most crucial problem that Israel deals with, and they are really, really worried for the future of the state of Israel. Do they feel differently to the Israeli government about that question? I think that they feel that the amount of settlers in the West Bank now is reaching a point where no government in the future, unless it will, we will reach a solution soon, no government will be able to move them back into what we call Israel within the 67 line borders. These are the heart of what some of the settlers would say, the heart of the Jewish heritage of the biblical parts, and to take those extreme right-wing settlers from there would use a lot of force and a lot of energy that The heads of the Shin Bet don't know if it will not be done soon. Uh, no government will be able to do that. So what is the role of Shin Bet? Shin Bet is a clandestine op- organization who deals with fighting terror in the West Bank uh, on all the aspects of that fighting terror. I mean also a Jewish terror, as you know, or you don't know, there's a lot of Jewish terror as well. as Palestinian terror. So Shin Bet deals with that mainly. The Palestinian extremism in the occupied territories, how does the Shin Bet acquire its knowledge? Today there is a lot of techniques to do that. Mostly the Shin Bet, prior to the new era of technology, used to do that by what they call human, human intelligence. That means they have collaborators. Now there is a different uh, array of uh, techniques that they use. I cannot really say what they are using, but they are using a lot of techniques in order to get the intel to stop terror. The leaders would say they know every laneway in every Palestinian village, Absolutely. every family. They know everything almost. In order to know that uh, a terrorist is leaving his house at a certain time, at a certain day, and using that kind of vehicle and coordinate all that, and that vehicle is going to go on that route and coordinate that to a helicopter pilot who sits upstairs there and targeted missile into that terrorist vehicle, you need a lot of intel on the ground all the time at live. Okay, let's go to the house on the house. לצערי, בגלל מודיעין לא מספיק מדויק, נפגעו חפים מפשע, אף אחד לא יודע את המספר הסופי, בין תשעה לארבע עשר. אוברקיל, אוברקיל זה טמטום ביטחוני, טמטום צבאי, אני לא יודע איך לקרוא לזה. אז פתאום התהליכים האלה מתחילים להיות, זה כבר סרט נע. אתה פחות ופחות שואל את עצמך איפה אתה עוצר. The motto of the film, The Gatekeepers, is strategy versus tactics. I would say that what they think is that tactics, I mean using force, can succeed until a certain point. Beyond that point, you need to use other methods, political methods, in order to reach a better reality, a and, better future. And these Shin Bet leaders now say that we've reached that point? No, they know that they, we have reached that point all the time. They are waiting all the time for the leaders, for the political leaders, to reach a political settlement. The father of the mother, the first child that you take from his family. They are the ones that 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 are the
וכשאתה פורש מהשירות, אתה הופך להיות שמאלן קצת. The people that are speaking in the gatekeepers are not the left-wing, crying hard, bleeding lefties who are all the time crying and whining about the two-state solution about the Palestinian. These are the heads of the Shin Bet. These are, these are the organization who tortured people, who target assassinate Palestinians in order to fight terror, who is responsible mostly for fights against terror, interrogations, all those kind of things. This is the, what they did. The head of the Shin Bet, Yuval Diskin, which I interviewed at the headquarters of Shin Bet in Tel Aviv, they call him the father of the targeted assassination. And these are the people that are saying, enough, enough with the war, enough of bloodshed. Let's go for a two-state solution. There is a partner on the other side. I think that as one who knows the Palestinians, it is not necessary to create a new state of the government. It is true. במדינת ישראל זה לוקסוס גדול מדי לא לדבר עם האויבים שלה. אז כל עוד הם מחליטים לא לדבר איתנו, אין לי ברירה. אבל כשאנחנו מחליטים לא לדבר, אני חושב שאנחנו טועים. זה בכלל תכונה של איש מודיעין מקצועי, לדבר עם כולם. מתבהרים דברים. אני רואה שאתה לא אוכל זכוכית, והוא רואה שאני לא שותה נפט. ככה זה. Jewish terrorism and Jewish extremism in Israel. Firstly, why would such a thing exist in a Jewish state? It's a wonderful question because, look, Israel is a democratic state. It means that it goes in some parts of it against the Torah, against the Bible law. And there are a lot of Jewish extremism who thinks uh, that uh, the land of the Holy Land is belong to the Jewish people and that no man can give up those parts of the land, only God. And this is what uh, kind of motivates them to act. This is why they assassinated the Prime Minister Rabin. This is why they planned to bomb the Dome of the Rock. In other words, had Jewish terrorists been successful in destroying the third holiest site in Islam, what would that have meant for Israel? I would say it in the words of one of the heads of the Shin Bet who described that, Israel would have, would have completely annihilated. It means World War Armageddon. This is what they were planning to, to create, definitely. This is what the head of the Shin Bet said, the whole in, of the Muslim world would rise up against Israel. Yes, not just Saudi Arabia not just and Jordan. Saudi, well, Saudi Indonesia, Arabia, Malaysia. Is, yeah, Indonesia, Malaysia, and uh, not to mention the, the risk of all the Jewish population diaspora. all around, yeah, all around the world. So what happened to the Jewish terrorists who conspired to blow up the mosque? What happened is that they were released uh, dramatically before time that they were due to serve as prisoners because of the political arena situation. Israel, yeah. The settlers' movement are the most dramatically influenced and powerful group among Israel politicians up until now. We call it the wag the dog. The tail that wags the dog, the settler movement is wagging the Israeli public for the last 40 years. Do they have an influence inside Shin Bet? Of course, they are inside Shin Bet, they are inside the government, they are inside the most influential corridors of power in Israel. And yet in numbers, they are smaller than obviously... Yeah, but the they are the most motivated one. You know, when you are religious, this is the best motivation for you to act. And yes, but you have one vote, I have one vote, you're motivated, I'm not, we still have the same power. Yeah, but the political system in Israel is different, you know, it's a coalition, and when you have to build a coalition, those small groups dictate to you, as the majority, whatever they want. And what's been the response of the Israeli establishment, the Israeli community, to your film? It depends who you ask. If you ask center to left, they all adore and love the movie. If you ask right and extreme right, they all hate the message of the film, of course. So they try to attack me that I kind of twisted their words. But, you know, it's been a year, almost a year and two months since the, the movie was released in Israel. None, one of the head of the Shin Bet came out and said that I kind of changed what they said or twisted their words. On the contrary, they all stand firmly behind the message of the film. Dro Moray, thank you very much for being with us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. 
RN, your world unfolding. Thank you.